Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Alright everyone, welcome to the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, we, with uh, WW2K24, my GM mode, Season 2, Week 12. Uh, we are on the road to fast lane. Uh, for those that are watching on YouTube, uh, we do record these live on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref after AEW uh, Collision and uh, Dynamite every week. So feel free to stop by and check us out as we record these live. Uh, for those watching on Twitch, uh, these are uh, put up on our Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel every Tuesday and Friday following the recording the days before so you're never going to miss out on a booking you're never going to miss out on a day just uh, feel free to check it out as we go along here but uh when we were here last week we had a real rough time it was after the pay-per-view a lot of people were drained i didn't get my uh booking right in terms of i i didn't realize classes took as many importance and uh, we ended up with a poor opening and it showed in terms of the number of fans that we got. So we are really falling behind compared to Raw right now. Uh, but we do have a few uh, tricks up our sleeve that we're going to be able to uh, use going forward here. But yeah, uh, I could talk about this all day, but let's get booked into this. All right, so. So we promised Ilya Dragunov a match this week, so we'll take care of that. Promised Scarlett a match against Fallon Henley within three weeks. We should be able to take that, take care of that tonight. Promised Gunther you'd interfere in a match on his behalf within three weeks. That's actually going to be a key thing here. That we will be doing tonight, I think. Then we got McDougal's contract expiring next week. Trixie's the week after, and then everything else. And then Brittany's in 15. So we'll have to see how things go here. So last week when we left here, I actually had Dragonov versus uh, Moreno as our main, or Dragonov versus MVP as our main event because it was a level four. I thought we could blow it off. McDougal is rumored to sign with AEW. No, 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 please, no. Our Red to Cup definitely needs to uh, stick around because we need to uh, get him and his feud with Mysterio done here. But well, let's see if we can get Dra- What can we do with Dragunov here? Oh, what's our goal this week, by the way? Do not book your most popular specialist this week, which would be Seth. Block an opposing... Get the Veto Star card. All right. I think I know where I can go with that, but... This is already a level four, so maybe I don't need to worry about that as much. In terms of heels, I might actually put him in. With Corbin here. Just to get a match in here with these two. Move that here. Get. Uh, We're going to have to get Becky working on something here soon, so. And Cora is getting trained up, so she's getting all her stamina back. Uh, they had to take her away for a couple weeks just to get her uh, healed up, so. Who do we got here as a heal? That we literally don't have anybody as a heal. Because we have all our heels in the main event. Mm 
what I'd actually like to do right now, I'm actually going to do the... We'll do the Trixie Ava match. Ugh. Actually, no, we'll do Trixie and Becky. Non-title. We'll do the run-in on Ava for... Uh, that's why we'll keep her off the show and keep it quiet. Then our last one here. This is where uh, things are going to get interesting here. We'll get Gunter in. And what I'm actually going to do right now before I book him, we're going to go over here. Cora cut. Ha! Nice. Sammy Vortex. What do you got here? She's brand new, hasn't been used yet. What I want to do here, actually, we'll bring in... Actually, I would like to book this right. Let's uh, mail... Face... Cruiser. I know I'm going to be wasting a thousand bucks on this in four points, but I'd like to get this... Uh, I only need somebody for like a week here. They can only give me one man, Dewey Carter. You're here for a week and there's a reason for that, Dewey. Welcome to the brand. You're here to get fed. And GM interference. Lie to Gunter. And what I'll do is I'll put this here. We're going to watch one match tonight if I do this. I just realized that. Or we're going to watch two matches. Sorry. Ooh. You know what? Maybe we'll scrap this one for this week. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at the stamina. Oh. This one's easy enough. Two guys, lots of stamina. We don't want to blow the rivalry off quite yet. Hmm. And then they both got lots of stamina, so maybe we can... I would almost like to do this right here and book an ambulance match, but it just... I'd like the rivalry to be a little higher with that, so... I think we'll just do a tables match, see if we can get this rivalry up a little bit. Turn off the rivalry. This one will be a little higher because the classes work. The popularity works. No, what I had originally booked was, uh, was Ilya versus MVP was what was the match the level four rivalry i was gonna blow it off but i'm like why do we want to do that why don't we just let it run to the pay-per-view so what i want to do is get this to a level four right now and this should be able to do that let's see if we can I'll do this, and then I'll give Scarlet another uh, pre-match physio here. We can do this for a title. 
because they're going to face each other again. So it's not a big deal here, so. Wait a second. Let's see if we can... Uh... Don't need that. Do I have Baron booked here? Oh yeah, I do against Ilya. Okay, so... Is there any rivalries we need to fix here? Ah, we can do the Ava Trixie thing, so I'll put Trixie out here. That'll be our one call out. In terms of training, is there anybody that's close to going up, up to a level that I can rank them? Carmelo! Let's see if we can get him boosted up. If we get him to level 10, we get a new uh, rain for him. And then... Let's get some fans in here. Yeah, you can handle the popularity shift. All right, I think we got this here. Okay. These GM interference matches may not work too well. You know what? Let's go crazy. We'll put a title match in out. Watch Dewey win this and completely screw everything up. And then we got this rivalry. This one. And then our main event here. We're loading everything into a tornado tag as we go here. So I think we got everything covered there. Power cards. Oh, yeah, we were going to do a pre-match physio for uh, Scarlet because she's closer. Because the tornado tag will take a lot out of you. Uh, I think it'd be more advantageous to do the bigger one. So we'll leave that there. Do I need to screw anybody right now? Not really. But this is the one. This is the other card I needed. A GM interference book. This show will provide an extra plus two show bonus and will be free to book this week. So, since I am interfering in the match, we get that out of the way. Increase the fans' gain for this week's show by twenty five percent. I think we're going to save that for the week before the PLE. Is there anybody that I could use this to get three levels? Well, Seth, we could move up. Seth at a level 20, that would be interesting. Basically, at level 20, it gives you a second stipulation as to uh, what you could do. I think we'll do happy, happy, middle of the pack. We'll see how Scarlet is after... Uh, after the after the show here tonight if she's still not injured i'll give her the 30 and then she can uh i can level her up to level 20 because eventually i want to get scarlet versus becky going because right now we have no feud for the champ and all this stuff we gotta wait here because we still need more money for it and more assets because we used we dumped all our assets into a new arena which is going to get us a lot more uh, 
A lot more money coming in and a lot more fans because we can hold 20,000. Our next one here is for eight pieces and it's a stadium every week. And then after that, we get the Coliseum, which is 50,000 every week. That'll be more of a Series 5 thing. I want to get these up before we uh, go crazy here. Just so we could get things added up a little better. All right, but enough yapping here. I think this might be enough to do this. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. All the world hates a coward. Let's do her to her. All right, we got to go first. All right, because this is a GM simulated match, or sorry, a GM, GM interference match, I do not get to... Uh, I, I We don't get to actually watch this. We'd, we'd be able to get to play it because, you know, we could be Dewey and completely screw everything over. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately with DBI, well, actually with GM Interference, we have to be at ringside helping out Gunther here. But anyway, let me talk over my butt a little bit more. I'm just killing some time because the chapter markers need to be spread out enough here. So let's get to this here. Gunther retains. Two and a half stars. They put a rivalry there, even though we're he's gone. Carmel Hayes got six XP. I like that. We might be able to upgrade him. Now this one here, the cop versus the criminal. It just seems right. And this is a tables match that we're going to be uh, checking out here. I've been using tables as pretty much as a, a stable stay throughout the entire s series here. But you see our brand new arena here out in Brooklyn, 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 Brooklyn. The following contest is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from Staten Island, New York. Weighing in at 240 pounds. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. I also want to push this, see if we can get it up higher, because if we can't, the next week we'll do the cage match and just, you know, send them off the right way, get an extra 20,000 in fans. If we can hold, we might even be able to hold them out for another two weeks here. I want to see what kind of salary he's asking for. He might just say to hell with it, I'm done. Which means we got to schedule a tag match and, you know, get the titles off them. But the one thing about getting this bigger arena right now and the more money coming in, we should be able to... Uh, build up enough that we that we're able to sign some bigger names and his opponent representing the judgment day from San Diego California weighing in at 200 pounds dirty Dominic Mysterio Dom just looks oh so happy But yeah, we're definitely going to, uh, as we go through the season three, going to have to be a lot more cognizant about which, uh, Brent, which uh, roles we pick up. Because we've been having a bit of an issue with... Get past the seeds here. Let's get to the, sh let's get to the match. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I truly do appreciate it. Dominic just not even caring about going near his opponent. Just go for that splash right away. Inmate number 022683. I wonder what the significance of that is. Uh, Dom, you know you need that, right?
So yeah, we'll have to see. Maybe we can pick up some NXT guys to uh, to increase our uh, roster for maybe increase the tag division a little more. Oh god. Clint just got clocked. Well, the crowd wants tables. I don't want this match to go too long because it's got to go below two and a half stars. Fisherman Buster on the outside. That's going to suck. Nobody gives a crap about McDougal. I love it. Oh, Dom went for the table. McDougal said nope. And on the hardest part of the ring. So what do you guys think about that mixed tag match that they've... I, I believe they've announced for Berlin. With Dom and Liv versus... Uh, Damien and Rhea. I think it's a good way to get them right off the... Uh, get Damien away from the title real quick. I know eventually they're going to have to deal with Finn, but I think that's more of a thing for bad blood. Because I think that would be the baddest of blood as we go along. On the floor, nonetheless. But I got a feeling next week we're going to pull some cards and start. Oh, God. Dom, don't eliminate yourself in this one. Jeez. They're not even booing that loud. Set up that table. Let's go. There you go. There you go, Dom. Let's set it up because I know you want to use it. Yeah, we're going to have to find some more cruiserweight talent for Gunter. That's why I don't want to blow I don't want to blow drag it off too early on that one but that might actually be our rumble uh Oh here we go And up and over Dom wins it should be a very boring match No it wasn't it was not awesome. This was not awesome. Okay, good. We're good there. Rivalry grew. I, I know it's disappointing, but at the same time, I need the rivalries here as we go here, right? And it fits the bell curve. Rivalry to level three. This one should actually be pre pretty good here. We got Dragonov and Corbin. Uh, Corbin last week won a fatal four-way match, and he's going to be... He's the one I got next in line to take on Seth. Which, yes, we'll bring up that storyline from, what, 2018? Nobody wanted to remember it. 
And Dragunov's got a feud with MVP going right now. Which, if all comes to... If, if we do get the best chance here, Dragunov and MVP should be my main event or my opener at the uh, PLE. Actually, my main event will probably be the same main event we got right now. Like, uh, MVP and Dragunov will pro- If everything goes right, at this point, it looks like we're going to have Dragunov and MVP open the show. And we're going to have the women's tag titles main event the show. That's, of course, if we can keep Ava around for a couple weeks there. Oh, no, it's Ivy and Fallon. Never mind. So yeah, we'll, we'll be fine there on that one. I'm really hoping that we could get one of those permanent book cards like we did uh, in season one. The last time we had, we lost it. We had to lose somebody due to uh, somebody being pissed off at us for that to happen. So. But it just looks so much better to have that big, big screen right behind everybody as we're coming out, right? I found it fun that uh, Gargano and Ciampa are uh, chomping at the bit at uh, at Corbin because of his taste in football. So For the Gargano, of course, is a Browns fan because he's from Cleveland. Ciampa, unfortunately, is a Patriots fan, which you know everybody has their faults in life. I guess we just found his, and of course, Corbin is from Kansas City and. He's been known to partake in a few Chiefs games in the uh, Kelsey slash Swift box whenever he's in town, right? So. So this here is just a plain old regular match. Nothing silly. Corbett's trying to look to prove himself once again as he's working his way towards Seth. Let's get big splash by Dragunov. Like realistically, tonight might be the last night that we see that we see Dragunov. That we see uh, Scarlet for sure. We've got to give her a few weeks to heal up. That's why I picked up that health spot too. Because if she's not completely injured after this this next match, it could be dang close. I just had to get her one-on-one -on -one feud with Ivy out of out of the way, so.
But if I can keep Scarlet out the next two weeks, give her the health spa, build her back up so that all, all four of those wrestlers are ready to go, we could have that as our main event cage match at uh, Fastlane. And what I could probably do, and it'd probably save us a little bit of headache here, if we want to try out the ambulance match, that might actually be uh, Ava and Trixie thing. Because if I lose one of them for three weeks, it's not exactly... Not exactly the worst thing in the world. The hell was that? That was a hell of a flop. So the game isn't perfect. I, I think we all can admit that. I don't know, personally, I, I've always had my hard time actually playing the game, so... This GM mode is absolutely right up the ballpark of what I've been looking for. Don't you dare end it on that. I want it on Torpedo Moscow. There you go. Oh, what a block by Corbin. Realistically, if I want something good, there it is. That's what I want to end it on. Please give him the pin. Just a two. Over the top. All right, that's going to suck. Backdrop driver on the apron. Reversal by Corbin. Deep six on the outside. Honestly, I think Corbin just needs to get him inside him in the end of days and finish it. Count out. Count out. Ha! It's something we never got last year. So once again, Corbin proving his right to take on Seth Rollins. Please tell me there's no... Well, there's not going to be a rivalry because Dragunov already has one, right? Two-star. Ugh. It, it's hard to get these matches out of the blocks because you got... Like I said, my biggest problem is I didn't book... Like... We have a specialist in Dragunov which will take care of anybody. But he won't give any bonuses for it, so... 3,000 fans, all right, MVP, you're, it's all right, not great, but. All right, so this one here, Tornado Tag for the Tag Team Championships. JC Jade and Scarlet versus Fallon Henley and Billy Slugger. Now, Billy, uh, Billy and Fallon have just been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with these two. I think they won the title in a tables match, lost it in a regular match, 
Now we're going to tornado tag to see if we can get a little higher here. As this is going to be our main event to finish things off tonight. Once again, everybody, thank you for checking things out. I'll uh, just remind you, if you are on YouTube here, hit the thumbs up. Comment what you like the best about the night. And then, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. It's free. The following contest is a tornado tag team match. It is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the champions first from Tampa, Florida. One half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, JC J. We got Jade's appearance here. Coming up. Scarlett will be here momentarily. Uh, if you are on, uh, if you're on Twitch here watching, uh, please, uh, if you haven't hit the follow button, please do join the Players Club. Sorry, join the Players Pit. We got great food. We got great snacks. The punch might be spiked, but that's a different story. Or if you really like what you see, consider yourself subscribing and becoming a Players Club member. You get some neat little e-boats. And you get my undying thank yous. So essentially, once this feud is done between these two tag teams, I would like to see we get Scarlet versus uh, Becky. Because, yeah, I would like to eventually see Scarlet versus Becky. And then for the end of the season, I was actually looking at JC and Becky. I'm assuming Becky's going to hold this thing all the way through. Right up to the end. And then what could happen is what, what exactly happened last time. EO Sky comes in at the last minute and just pulls a shocker out. And, of course, in her match, wins the uh, women's championship away from Becky. But yeah, I'm hoping for the start of, I think it's week 16, we should be able to get, we should be able to get one of the extra effects that we need for going forward. I, I would like to uh, probably do the special effects first just to get the show quality up because that should be able to translate to more fans and whatnot. But, but yeah, this is our main event here for week 12 for those that are popping in here for the Women's Tag Team Championships. A uh, tornado tag match. Fallon Henley and Billy Slugger taking on the champs, JC Jane and Scarlett. So the one thing I'm going to do, the other thing I'm going to do for season three, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to not book any champions until the first pay-per-view or the first PLE. And I'll book them to win at the PLE because Heyman has a uh, veto champions card that he can use during the PLEs. And if I don't have champions, he can't not book them right so I think for the beginning of the season 3 we're gonna 
we're going to focus on creating the best wrestlers and the best rivalries and we'll put the titles on them at the PLEs. Charles Robinson, once again, our official for tonight. All right, here we go. No tags needed. Let's go. Nice wheel, reverse wheelbarrow there. Could you imagine? Well, at least Billy's smart enough to want to go for the titles whenever she can, right? Jade finds her way out of that. Oh, and Fallon getting back into the fight here. Nice Des press. Oh, locked in animation. That's got to suck. I wish there was some way they could break that up, right? Because they still have that going on with the uh, locked in animation as you're go trying to go for a... Uh, Going for a hold and somebody, your partner's getting pinned on the other side. I think this is what happened in the first match when uh, when Jane and Scarlet won the titles initially. Billy got isolated in the ring and. The new champs took advantage. Nice clothesline on the inside. Uh oh. Fallon tried to go for a hangman's neck breaker, but Jane reverses it. But Fallon decides to use a little resiliency and hits a neck breaker of her own on the outside. Uh oh. Scarlet's pretty worn out already, so this is actually a very smart move. If you can get that pin on Scarlet. Big splash. Big foot stomps there by Billy. Oh, everybody get back in the ring now. Big power slam by Slugger. Jane comes in just the perfect time to break that up. Boot right to the face there. hard shots all over the place here Scarlet once again being isolated that's not a good thing suplex into the pin Jane gets rid of Jane gets rid of Slugger uh oh Fallon caught in a tree of woe here. What is Scarlet going to do? Uh oh, Snake Eyes up, up top, hot shot it on that top rope. Jane now isolated in the ring with 
with the two challengers. Thump. Oh, look how flat out her version of Jaded there on Fallon on the outside by Jane. Fallon looks like she might be done. But Jane just continues to sell to the outside. Meanwhile, Scarlett and Billy are just going tooth and nail out there outside on right by the announcer's table. Jane gets thrown back into the ring. Oh, she hits the discus. Hit the cyclone kick. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Champions retain. Awesome match. Here are your winners. And still, the WWE Women's I'm really hoping this gets us to a level four. So what we'll probably do is put uh, Fallon and Billy in a promo, a tag team call out next week to set up the cage match, hopefully. Please tell me this is a level four now. There we go. Four stars, level four rivalry. Life is good. <laughs> Always love the four star matches as we go. We'll check out how much uh, health uh, Scarlet has after this. But it's now time to see what everybody else decided to do in terms of their booking. Send it over to Raw here. Opening match, Tornado Tag, Robert Roode, Braun Breaker versus Tommaso Ciampa and Jim Neidhart. The Battle of the Beards. I can say that right now. I got a feeling either Roode or Ciampa is going to get injured in this match. Only one way to find out. Champa Neidhart. They escaped injury. Oh my goodness. With that low of stamina, I thought for sure they'd be out. Carmella puts herself over. That's great. Savage Taker Nakamura in a regular triple threat match. That would be fun to watch. But it's two heels and a face. He probably did that intentionally to get a low scar. Okay, so Savage Taker's in level one. All right, if I do that, I get killed. Truth putting himself over barely. Jimmy Uso versus Braun Strowman. Good luck, Jimmy. One, two, that's it. It. How the hell did he win it? Three and a half. They got a rivalry going. Baszler and Carmella, I do believe, is already a level four, so that really doesn't matter. Main event for the tag team titles. It is Natalia Meachin versus Bailey and Molly Holly. So four veterans. This would be a fun match to watch. Four stars. Got to give it to Raw. They're pulling out some good shows. And then we get... WCW. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat versus Captain Grog, which is a level two rivalry. Run in by Geriatric on Steamboat. One, two, ring the bell. Steamboat wins in a three star match. Okay. Adria Buck trying to call out Drew McIntyre. I guess it worked. Paragon J. Pierce versus Tim Burr. This is your jobber match in the middle. Tim Burr wins in a one-star match. Yeah, that's that's WCW. One half of the tag champions trying to put himself over and can't. That's what happens when you leave us without saying goodbye. Triple threat match. Carrying Cross, Bukati, and Andre Chase. Booker and carry a rivalry, and of course, Andre wins beside it. Three stars. 
The other half of the tag champs gets one plus one. And now our main event for the tag titles in a tornado tag. Thank you for stealing my uh, gimmick there, Bischoff. Raquel and Gigi versus Alexa and Tiffy, the blondes with a cause. Let's see what we can do here. We finally get new champs. In a four and a half star match, Raquel is injured for four weeks. At least the titles got off of them. So the Miz and Angel Garza versus Tyler Bate and Julius Creed. I'm almost scared about that main event here tonight. Tyler Bate and Creed, level four rivalry, good on him. Vicky McLeod trying to get herself over and just can't. She's been doing this. For, they have been sitting there in that cell promo call out area forever. Kurt Angle versus Damian Priest. Yes, yeah, sell me on that ticket. Thank you. One, two, that's it. Bring it. Kurt Angle wins. Two and a half. I call BS. J Jody and Vicky will not. I, I actually I think they already are a level four. Never mind. It's just that's just not gonna be a good match. Valhalla versus Candace. Candace with 14 stamina. One, two, that's three. Bring it. Candace wins. But Candace is out for two weeks due to injury. So she's out to the PLE. <laughs> That sucks, but at least they get her back for the PLE, right? Hey, Eric, how you doing here tonight? We're just checking over some of our scores here and our main event for ECW here, Josh Briggs, Logan Paul, and the Boogeyman for the TV title. And the Boogeyman's a new signing. Dom on the Logan Paul, Paul show this week was gold. Just like I put in that uh, po X post, uh, Dominic became my new hero for that. He just got over just a little bit more outside of the ring. Had a nice 24K bike ride out of boy. But yeah, if, uh, if Dominic asking about Japan isn't your pop of the week, Vic, I'll be very disappointed. Because the amount of backpedaling that Logan did was amazing. Let's check out. Boogeyman wins in his debut. Wins the TV title in his debut. And Briggs and Paul get into a rivalry. That couldn't have worked out any worse for the Boogeyman. Or for ECW for that matter. Alright, let's see the report cards. So we got good booking. Level 3 rivalry, level 2 rivalry, level 4 rivalry. And we have another level 4 rivalry between Dragonov and uh, MVP. So we're good there. I want to check the match report for this. So Scarlet's down to 25. JC Jane's down to 26. So neither one of them should touch a ring for a little while. So I am a little short on heels going into next week. This might be a guy-centered show next week as we go, so. All right, let's see what the other ones did. Good booking, level four. Oh, they don't have a rivalry. Okay. Level one, level one. And here we go. Level one. Level one. Level four, but Rodriguez is out for four weeks, so. Unless they use a power card, they're not going to bring her back until after the PL PLE. And that will be stale. Level 4. Level 4. Level 4. Level 2. And the champion does not have part of that too. Alright, let's see, let's see what matters here now. We got a 105, so that's a hell of a lot better than we did before. And we're up to 230000 in cash, so we made some decent money here. I wonder what we're going to get for uh, 
We're, we're going to have to get a bo boost in fans here. We're going to have to do that. We'll do it. Uh, we'll have to pull that card next week. We're going to have to catch him up because we had such a bad week last week. But no special notes for anybody. Yeah, nothing big there, so. 122. And they gave 52, so they're even higher now. Like, Raw's going to run away with this if I don't start getting to work here. One oh nine. So WCW got a few more fans. That, I don't know. Their budget's higher than me, but I wonder who's got more fans right now. That's the part that scares me here. Like So we got the veto star, so we're gonna be able to do that. I think we figured out what we're going to do to Raw. I think we figured out what we're going to do to Raw. So technically, we're still at first place. Fan-wise, we're in third place. ECW is past us now. Uh, let me uh, snooze the ads here for a sec because we're just about to wrap up here. Uh, budget wise, we do have the smallest budget of the bunch because we have done some stupid stuff. Um, the only thing that's saving our butt right now is the fact we have that hall, these three Hall of Fame trophies. Um, I do expect things to pick up here in the next little bit. We are going to play a couple cards next week. One on Raw and one for ourselves. So... We, we hopefully we could get a little bit of momentum with fans here and get things pushed towards the PLE. But yeah, um, as tradition, we do not, uh, we're not able to save here. So we're going to advance this up to the booking screen and see what uh, catastrophes are ahead for us here. So let's take a look. Houston, Texas. Another five weeks would be 20 grand. Chat, what do you think? 20 grand to keep them for another five weeks or punt them? I could try and soft, soft block them for 14. Or I could do 35 for 10 weeks. He hasn't done a lot for me actually overall, so. And his popularity is only 42, so. I'm thinking I'm going to try and lowball him and see what happens here. I think we both know we're worth more than that. If you want me to stay in SmackDown, you need my ASCII price. All right, well, I tried. I'll keep him. He's still pissed, though. That's fine. I can deal with it. Trent Shaw, brand new guy. What's up? I'm so good to finally get to talk to you. I got your number from your assistant. I hope you don't mind. I'm Trent Shaw. You may have heard of me. No. Well, I'm pretty big deal on the internet and I'm looking to get my foot in the door professionally. Would you have any room on your roster for me? You can hire me on for free and I'm sure my followers will become fans of your brand who put me in a match. Could feed them. Yeah. You know what? Let's bring in this guy. He's for free. He says he has a bunch of fans. His popularity is 31. He is a cruiser, so we can feed him to Gunter. Yeah, 
he's a jobber. It's fine. I need somebody to take on Gunter anyway. Good that you didn't screw me on the promise. Keep this up, but I'll probably stay at SmackDown. And you were a good boss to me before you gave me that rematch. I like this. And you were a good boss to me before when you gave me that rematch against Carmelo. Have to say, you really look out for your talent on SmackDown. So I was supposed to get one submission match this week. All right, who do we get to bump up here? Who's... Oh, we got a double bump. Fallon and Carmelo, let's go. So next week, we're going to be able to add new perks to both those gentlemen and lady. Uh, when we got the new guy on the roster, we basically got a free body, so... If he's got stamina 74, I could feed him to Gunter and see what see what happens. We're going to be able to get uh, Seth back in the game this week because, well, we don't have anything booked against him. So one submission match, what do I got? I just got to worry about these contracts coming up. Trixie's before the pay-per-view, which means we can actually do that right off next week if we need to. We got it for 10 weeks. This is going to be nice. All right. Brittany, end of week, week 15, that might hurt a little bit. And Billy's around for a while, I think. I think Billy we hired for the rest of the season. But yeah, that's looking like we're uh So we are definitely going to be I think we'll use this one. And I think we got two of these. I think we're going to use this next week. Cuz then the week after uh yeah, Pierce is going to uh, have to work out of the high school gym rather than whatever arena he has. So that way we can cut back on his revenue and his fans. So we'll see how things go there. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up here for this week. We still got plenty of challenges to go here. We got uh, surpassed 600000 in the bank. We're on our way. We just got to save our money a little bit here. But, but yeah, as we wrap things up here on uh, on the old YouTube, make sure you uh, hit the thumbs up. Give us a uh, subscribe. Those on Twitch, hang on. We're going to raid out here just after we're done signing off here. Uh but yeah, we record these every uh, Wednesday and Saturday on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Uh, make sure you stop by and say hello uh, as we do this after Dynamite and Collision every week. So but once again, everybody, thank you for checking everything out. And always remember, be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.